What's going on YouTube? Snipes here with TKO Gaming and we are here with the brand new strike. It is the Nightfall Strike. I'm going to show you guys how me and my team completed this. This is our first look at it. No strategy, no nothing. We went kind of with the flow. You guys, one thing to keep in mind is if you do die in the Nightfall, all three of you guys, uh, to do it again, you have to use a moat of light. Not a big deal, but I mean, honestly, nobody likes losing. So make sure you guys are playing like a team and do not die. Having a Titan in this really, really did help us. It, it's definitely not needed, but it definitely did help us, guys. So please be sure to beatbox that like button and let's get into it. We are in the room. I fast forwarded uh, most of the strike or let's say half of the strike. Because you guys should know, I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory how to get to the room where the Fallen Walker spawns. Now, when the Fallen Walker spawns, you want to be careful because the Nightfall is Arc Burn. And you want to make sure you have your best Arc Weapons. Now, I do not have my best Arc Weapons on me, but these weapons I have are not bad. I was using the Oversoul Edict, the Found Verdict, the infamous Found Verdict, I should say. And the Thunderlord, the All-Powerful. So... These weapons did absolute great, great work. Now, those shanks, guys, are exploding shanks. Holy shit. They actually added some awesome, awesome new stuff from the House of Wolves DLC. Super excited about that. Want to be careful with that walker once again. Make sure that you guys are kind of spread apart. And when that guy goes down, make sure you guys own him. But be careful because when he goes down, they spawn more enemies to come and kill you. Now, this room that I'm in right now... We found to be a pretty safe room, but both my teammates went down, and I had to pull the motherfucking arc blade clutch on these kids. You know, I had to go get it, man. We did not want to die. This was our first attempt at this, and we we're like, no, we are not failing. So I revived one teammate, pretty risky uh, to revive the second one because he's in such a crap spot. Make sure if you guys play with your team, don't put your team in this situation. Shout out to Candace for that. Now, revive him, but revived him just in time and I also died now he gets revived or I get revived and now we're gonna reset up we have one person in the left room who keeps dying for some reason but he's gonna get picked up we're gonna have one person in the left room one in the back and Candid is gonna go in the back wall where those snipers usually are you see those snipers in the very very back he will be back there it's easy to get there you can blink strike there you can do your uh, let's say um, or not blink strike blink jump or your blade dancer or your glide or whatever character you are it's a pretty awesome spawn it makes it so it's pretty difficult for the tank to shoot at all three of you guys you guys spread out uh, pretty much you have self accountability to not die for your team now this being the new strike the new nightfall it is level 32 pretty epic as a level 32 we are you know it's it's you die a lot easier it kind of brings the challenge back into destiny which i really really admire i really love it i was streaming this i've been streaming all day really hype for the house of wolves just as all of you are i guess that this is the new stuff we were looking for when it comes to destiny so thank you bungie for an awesome awesome new strike i really did enjoy it um you guys know that big big boss it's like a mini boss the captain the fallen captain who you you know hurt a little bit and then he runs away and you have to keep chasing him around and then you have to come in this room fight the walker as well look at where candids is in the back i'm over here what we do this is the best strategy to use is you pop out at the walker as soon as he looks towards you you get in a safe cover spot and the guy on the opposite side of the walker starts shooting him so just something to keep in mind guys i want you guys all to succeed in the new house of wolf activities and i want you guys to get the best loot I got absolutely screwed when it came to the loot in this. You guys will see at the end of the video. Man, I was so shocked at what I got uh, compared to what my teammates got. And it's just absolute bullshit. But a couple of my friends did get that, uh, I don't know what it's called, the Ether Ascend or something. Like where you can ascend your uh, old weapons. Uh, you need an etheric light. That is what it's called, the etheric light. 
A couple of my friends got that. I was super pumped for them. I unfortunately have been getting completely screwed when it comes to House of Wolf RNGs drops. I don't know why. I think I have to pray to the RNGs to one time for that person or whoever it may be, a cow, I don't know, to get me my motherfucking drops. Now, I did make a video to show you guys how to ascend your old exotics to new ones. Be sure to check that video out. It is on my channel. Um, and I made some videos on how to find easy, easy treasure keys, which are also rare drops. And remember, you are going to need treasure keys in the loot room for Prison of Elders to then open the big ass chest up and get your beautiful loot. So keep that in mind, guys. We took care of the walker. We're going through the rest of the map to finally get into the final boss room, I should say. And the final boss is going to spawn. And I'm going to show you guys just coincidentally, I found a really, really good spot to stand and the boss can barely touch you. Now you walk in this room and you see a freaking thing that looks like the hyperbolic time chamber. And you think Goku's in there. He's going to come out and help you. But that's not the case in Destiny. They did not take that from Dragon Ball Z. I'm a big Dragon Ball Z fan, guys. Uh, shout out to anyone else who is as well. Now, this spot right here, I couldn't find where the boss was, but I just found him, right? Now, I stand right here. I kind of cover on this right panel. My teammate dies, but if you guys notice, I revive him, and I'm just shooting him. And he's barely hitting me. I just have the Halo 2 strafe on him. I'm just going back and forth, back and forth, and he just cannot hit me. So, guys, keep this in mind. There are other spots around this room. Remember, you want to stay spread out. Staying together with your team is awesome as well. But if you have good players with you, staying spread out really helps because the boss or the walker will aggro to other people. Now, look at that horrible, horrible drop. I got the Dragon's Breath, but Obey got the... The something greaves, peregrine greaves. I don't even know what they're called, but they're for the Titan. It's super cool. I'm gonna show you guys that right after the loot screen pops up. And what's his face? Candids got the crest of Alpha Loopy, and I got the dragon's breath. F you are in Jesus. Why you hate me so much? I don't understand, but hopefully, I get better, better drops continuously in the next night falls. I hope you guys, I hope this video really helped you guys i'm really really tired because i was grinding all night for house of wolves but i'm so excited to put more content out for you guys if you have not subscribed then please do beatbox that subscribe button and i'll see you guys in the next one peace